Hey, Molly. Uh, <laughs> whether it's Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, Mothman, cryptid creatures have captured our imaginations for centuries. Oh, yes. And this weekend, there is a celebration, celebration being hosted in honor of the Tri-State's own cryptic creature, the Loveland Frogman. Yeah. And so, joining us this morning, one of the organizers. Yeah. From the Frogman Festival, it is Jeff Gray. Good morning to you, Jeff. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. Thanks for having me. We love the cryptids around here and all these legends and lures. There are so yep. many around this area. Yep. Uh, so we are excited that this is going on this weekend. Tell us what people can kind of expect this weekend. Sure. Well, we're going to have frog eyes for everybody. So <laughs> I'll we, take one. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And um, we're celebrating the Frogman. The, uh, we're celebrating the story. It's a... Uh, very tenuous story. It's only been seen a couple of times throughout the years, I, and I'm actually got a surprise for you guys. Oh, I, I have a special guest. You do. You I found do. the Loveland Frogman who came <laughs> in today. Yes. Oh well. Yep. Okay. Come on over. A rare sighting, rare sighting. indeed. Yes. Right they, here in the local 12 studios. They now, would they would talk, but they have a frog in right, their throat. Right. Right. Ah, yeah. good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. For those who don't know the Loveland Frogman yeah. story, give, give us a brief retelling sure. of it. Sure. There's been three or four sightings for. Going back 100 years, the big one was in the 70s when two police officers in Loveland saw the creature and actually shot at it. So that really... Oh, <laughs> no! The... Frogman didn't like that, yeah. That was a flashback memory over there for, uh, for Frogman. Right. Easy, easy. <laughs> so we're celebrating all those stories, and I've got speakers that are going to talk. Jim Willis, who wrote the book called Weird Ohio, <laughs> uh, he'll have that book for sale. Nice. And uh, he's a speaker at, on at 1 o'clock. I've got a guy who uh, is doing Ooh. fan art. Uh, people are inspired by the Frogman, so whatever your skill set is, they'll draw stuff, they'll write <laughs> books, they'll make hats. And um, all kinds of good stuff. There's card games now that are cryptid themed. That's so so cool. we're going to have 50 vendors from 12 states. I've got eight speakers lined up throughout the day that are going to talk about not just Frogman, but Bigfoot, Mothman, the importance of storytelling. Some of these, these are more on the academic side as well, really. Well, you wh know? Why do you think people love to tell these stories? Whether or not you believe them, we all kind of love to hear about them. We do, and it's, it's just the unknown. We always have a fascination with the unknown. Uh, we're scared of the unknown. We're scared of the dark. We're scared of what's on the other side of that mountain. That's why humans have ventured out to investigate and explore. And these are the last few things that are left that we don't know about. Well, and how, how many people who come to this festival, and obviously the vendors are all in on it, how many will come because they really think there's a Bigfoot or they really mm -hmm. think there's a level in program? And how many will come just because it's fun? They think it's, it's probably fun. probably split in half. Uh, there are your hardcore dedicated people out there looking, especially for Bigfoot. Yeah. Uh, we've got people that are doing uh, ghost hunting that'll be there talking, mm -hmm. and vendors who have paranormal investigative groups, they'll be there. They can share their stories with you, and uh, you can learn about the local ghost stories of Cincinnati and Ohio as well. And there really are a lot of local, you know, tales of lore and yes. of ghost stories and so many different things. So yeah. when is the festival? We know it's at Great Wolf Lodge. It's at the conference center at Great Wolf. And it's Saturday all day, doors open at 9.30. It's $10 for adults, kids are free. You can buy tickets at the door. You can buy tickets at festival, the festival website, frogmanfestival.com. Uh, but if you just can make it that day, we'll get you in the door for 10 bucks. And uh, all day through six o'clock at night. Will pictures with Frogman be available to people? Frogman, thumbs up, or? <laughs> She's got to think about it. Frogman's got to think about thumbs it. There may not be into the idea. I don't know. I think Frogman is willing. That's <laughs> good. Yes. Also, is there a website or any place people can look for more information? Frogmanfestival.com. Easy and enough. And then if you go to the, my Facebook event page for Frogman, just look for the Frogman Festival event page on Facebook or go to Instagram, Map in Black, okay. which is one of the maps I've made to... Um, show people where these things are, map in black. There All right. you go. Sounds All right. Good. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, best of luck you. with the festival. So Frogman, I know it's rare for you to get out of the swamp, so thanks for stopping by. <laughs> we appreciate it. Uh, it